We trust each other, right? Well, if not, at least I want you to be able to trust me. And for that reason, I'm not going to tell you that UFC Prague is an absolute must watch fight card. However, there are individual competitors who are set to throw down at this event that are worth paying your attention. And if you end up tuning in, they will leave you entertained after their bout is over. My name's Flying Brian J, and these are the top three individual fighters who I think you need to put your peepers on and pay attention to at UFC Fight Night 145 beyond the main event and co main event. Number three, Michelle Prezeres, who fights UFC newcomer Ismael Nawardiev on the prelim portion. It took Prezeres until his eighth fight in the UFC to score a finish, but once he did, he got back-to-back north-south choke victories. I'm pretty sure he's the only person to have locked in two submissions of that variety, and only one of four competitors to have officially won in that way. Although he has notched 11 of his 26 wins via submission and has a second-degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he's not just a one-note martial artist. He also throws big bungalows and overall has a serviceable striking attack. Before he slapped on the guillotine choke against Fabinski his last time out, he first scored a knockdown with a gigantic overhand right. And although he was at a distinct reach disadvantage to Zach Cummins, he had a lot of success manipulating striking range, being able to touch Zach while quickly bouncing into distance and then not being there when Zach threw back. He is a short and very explosive athlete who has looked even better since moving up to 170 pounds after multiple misses to make the lightweight limit. I fully expect him to get a finish on Saturday, and while doing so, he's going to be really exciting. Number 2. Marco Polo Reyes The best thing that I can say about him is that he was involved in one of the best fights of 2016, which was a slobber knocker against Dong Young Ma back at UFC 199. More than that, he always brings excitement. Three out of five UFC appearances have resulted in him being awarded a post-fight bonus. Keep in mind, this next bit of information comes from Wikipedia, but it's fascinating information nonetheless. He has the fifth shortest average fight time in UFC lightweight history at 6 minutes and 51 seconds. He has the third best strike differential in lightweight history at 2.1 to 1. And he has the third highest rate for strikes landed per minute in UFC history at 6.69 strikes landed per 60 seconds. With that in mind, I think it's safe to say that if you're looking to be thrilled early on during this fight card on Saturday, this is one of the guys that you need to pay your attention. Add to the fact that he's exciting on his own, he is fighting a former member of this very list in Demir Hadzevich. And number one, Piotr Jan, who fights perennial gatekeeper John the Magician Dodson on the main card portion. Jan, summed up in a few words, is a scary son of a gun. He came into the UFC with a bunch of hype and quickly made himself worthy of that praise with a first-round knockout of Teruto Ishihara. Then he went out there and had a heart-wrenching back-and-forth battle that turned out to be fight of the night against Jin Su Sun, and in his last appearance, he worked over an extremely game and dangerous opponent in Douglas Silva de Andrade. Ultimately, I think that Jan was on his way to getting a stoppage by himself, but DSA's corner had to save him from himself and more Piotr damage with a corner stoppage after the second round. He started boxing at a young age, but like most young combatants who enter the cage nowadays, he has a well-rounded skill set. Crushing body kicks, smooth stance switches, and an intelligent use of takedowns on top of, of course, huge punching power for these lower divisions. He has been utterly dominant in his UFC career thus far, so much so that he's a 2-1 to favorite over the guy who's already been fighting the highest level of competition in this division and has been doing so for a really long time in John Dodson. Regardless of if he's successful against this veteran, you're going to want to follow this guy's career on Saturday and beyond. I didn't talk about the main event during the bulk of the video because this series is to aim at the fights flying under the radar. But who are you picking to win the main event of the evening between Jan Blachowicz and Tiago Mejeta Santos? I think it's definitely going to be fight of the night no matter how long it lasts. But who do you think gets their hand raised? Please give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below with your pick, and I'll see you right here on this channel for the SB Nation MMA post-fight show for UFC Prague. Namaste.